Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Zantan, and welcome to today's video for Marvel Snap. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you the deck that um, I played the most, probably the most, last season. Uh, we've started a new season, uh, and I've been playing this deck a little bit more as well, even though it's a new season. Um, this is not the exact list that I was playing, though. Um, I'm actually testing out a card in here that I'll talk about when we actually start talking about it. Uh, but this is Electro Ramp. Uh, at its core, very simple to understand deck. Basically, we got a few uh, value-ish one-drops here. Armor, Sunspot, Ebony Maw, just, you know, big early game or high value-ish early game stuff. But we want to try to play Electro on three. We have a backup plan in the form of Wave, but we really just want Electro on three to try to ramp out our big stuff. Turn three Electro, turn four Leech, is just really strong, you know. A lot of people like to complain about leech, but leech, enemy leeches are no problem if you play a turn four leech and you leech their leech. Pretty uh, pretty good. Uh, also, wave into Odin is pretty solid as well. Uh, and Odin actually has a uh, quite a few, bit of synergy with the deck as well with our other top end. A second Doom activation is pretty nice. Uh, second leader activation could be solid. Arrow plus another arrow location on turn six can be just game winning. Overall, very strong deck in my opinion. Um, Hulk is in here. I'd rather this be a Magneto, but I don't have Magneto, so we're just playing Hulk. Uh, the big stats are just worth it. You could definitely replace Hulk with some other top end if you prefer something else. Um, arrow is another card that I like personally, but you could consider a different five drop. I would say that this should, the arrow card should be another five drop if you're going to consider replacing her. Something like maybe a tech card if you want, but something like Iron Man, Claw, Magic, Professor X, maybe Gamora or Spider Woman for some Odin synergy is a consideration. Uh, but right here, Sandman. Sandman is the card I am currently testing out. This card, you the Sandman used to be a white queen in this deck, but I have recently. Uh, Put in Sandman. Why am I playing Sandman? Zabu is a card that has just come out. Zabu is, I believe, three mana for two power. Makes your uh, ongoing is to make your four costs cost two less or something like that. Um, also, Sarah is kind of popular-ish. So I'm trying to counter all that with Sandman. Um, thanks to the ramp, I feel, from Electro. Um, I think it is okay to play Sandman because we're kind of negating the downside of Sandman, which is his terrible stats for his cost, by playing just a bunch of other big stuff. So hopefully uh, the game plan works. Uh, let's go and play a couple of games on a ladder though. Um, Not the worst start. Ebony Maw is not that terrible. Um, do I really want Ebony Maw yet? No. I'll have him on two in case I draw a sunspot. Nice. All right. So now I can like Ebony Maw sunspot here. Thanks to. I'm actually going to snap here. Yes. Unless they like Storm or Scarlet Witch Bifrost, I think I should, with Ebony Maw sunspot, I think that should guarantee me a middle win. Now, here's the only problem. What about the rest of the... What about the second lane? Armor, whatever. Is this a mirror? Can you wave here, please? Oh! Oh, yes! Electro! Nice! Probably should have considered playing Electro on the left. Wait, I can't play Electro on the left. What am I thinking? Yeah, so they can actually screw me. If they can somehow transform Bifrost, I'm screwed. Hopefully that's not what happens. Okay, okay, whatever. Interesting. So this is Destroyer. So I'm not gonna Sandman because it's Destroyer and I don't want to Leech. I'm actually going to arrow here 
because I want to arrow on six when they play destroyer to, to try to destroy their other lane. So yeah, I like this line. This is actually a pretty sweet line. I assume they're going to just play into the Bifrost here. Uh, and arrow should let me win the Bifrost, I hope. So yeah, I think I got this. I think this is a guaranteed win. I really hope I draw something that's just a little bit better. Warpath, whatever. All right. Good news is I won Asgard, so plus two cards for me. Thank you. Give me Doom. Yo, easy game, boys. Easy game. So yeah, this is just a uh, basically a formality here. We're just gonna play every. Uh, okay. I am Iron Man. I wasn't actually expecting Iron Man. Is this Omega Red? I mean, I'm just gonna play Odin. Because, like, they have to still win two other lanes, and I think Odin giving me more Doom bots and an arrow activation just wins. So let's just do this. And I even get plus one to Sunspot. Hog. And now you retreat. As I was saying, now you retreat. So, yeah, I lose Asgard here because Iron Man, whatever. Unless they destroy her on the left. No, they can't destroy her on the left. Like, yeah, they can't destroy her anywhere. Spectrum? Like, Spectrum on the left? That loses as well. Like, there's no line here. They should retreat. I don't see a line here that wins them the game. Uh, Leech or Leader doesn't do anything. I reveal first. Um, Cosmo. Yeah, Cosmo doesn't matter. Shang-Chi doesn't... My stuff's not big enough for Shang-Chi. I really don't think they can win here. So, yeah. GG. Good start to the, to the video. Good, easy win. Looks like they probably just did, um... Yeah, they're just trying to see if I retreat before they retreat here. Easy plus two cubes. Gotta love it. Um, so yeah, very, uh, very standard game here. I feel like this is a perfect... For game one, this is actually a very good example, too, of exactly how we want to run this deck. We got an early Electro out, and then we just played big stuff. Got some one-drops here as well in the early game, so we didn't waste too much mana. And then we just won by playing... Really good, expensive, late game oriented cards. So let's go to the next game. Um, yeah, okay, I can work with this. Ooh, Muir Island. Haven't seen that in a while. Um, so I'm probably just gonna play like Armor Electro on the left, most likely. Maybe Armor on the left, Electro somewhere else to keep room for Doom, unless that's Sunspot. That's great. That probably means I lose in all honesty. This actually might... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, this might be a mirror, but if it is a mirror, I have Electro. It isn't a mirror. Okay, that's good. So yeah, like, I can Electro... Mid is what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, yeah, let me Electro to the left. Perhaps? I don't know if I want to Electro on the left. I think I'm going to give up on the left for now and play Electro here. Another... Okay, that's their armor. Sure, whatever. Hopefully, uh, whatever Westview turns into doesn't screw me over. I think I'll just play Leech on the left, though. Well, okay. Nothing is getting destroyed. Is this Destroyer... I mean, I don't really have any other play besides just Leech. I could Sandman, but they're not a Zabu or Sarah list, so I'm just going to Leech here. And I think... I'll Leech... here? Dracula. What is going on here? This list is so... Is this... I think I've seen this list before. I wave. Um, I'm just gonna leader here. I'm not. I love how neither of us have snapped. Neither of us are confident at all. Like I've seen. Is it Dracula Zoo? So like Red Skull top end. So does that mean I should just? I guess that means I should just give up. Like. 
Okay. I too. Thanks for the red skull. So do I win? Like, I think I just play Odin and I win, right? I'm not going to snap because I feel like I'll scare him off. But yeah, like, I know this deck. It plays, like, big stuff they don't normally play. So they probably... I'm going to snap back. I'm not scared. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. Like, yes, you're winning Monster Metropolis, but I think I can win Muir Island and Wakanda. I don't think I can lose here. Uh... <laughs> Might be a problem. Lizard, Iceman, and the other card is Squirrel Girl. So I should have this, right? Okay. Okay, we're good. We won. We won, right? Whoo! Just barely. Thank you, opponent, for snapping. I was content with just two cubes, and uh well, you got confident. And your confidence let me win. I can't believe I won that. I mean, I was confident, which is why I snapped back, because, you know, Odin leader is a big swing, but, jeez. Just, I barely won each lane. Like, well, except for Monster Metropolis. But, uh, yeah. Leech leader into Odin is pretty good, chat. Uh, so let's go to game number three, I believe. Well, that hands kind of sucks. Okay, never mind. The hands kind of fine. All right, Sunspot, do your job. And, you know, make my terrible hand not terrible. Hopefully, I have a I have a couple of draws though. I have like what? Two draws to well, this is Never mind. I was going to say this is great, but uh yeah, this is not so great anymore. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll play armor here. It's more uh power on this lane than just passing. And that's not Electro or Wave. So, GG if they play Electro. Oh, it's just Storm. Okay, so we win. Wait, do I win? So I pass again. Arrow Doom is what I'm thinking. Wong. So you got some white tiger stuff going on here? Oh, now I draw Electro. Thanks. <laughs> Great. Um, I kind of want to leech right now. Let's leech them. Since they haven't snapped, I'm going to play this out. But yeah, I think leech to stop any like Arnim Zola white tiger shenanigans. They played nothing. What? Oh, were you trying to... Let's play Doom. I think Doom... Okay, yeah. And there's a the retreat. I think they were trying to Wong into a Doom here. I was expecting, like, a Black Panther or a White Tiger this turn, but nothing? Huh. I don't know if this is the correct play, though, to play Doom here over Leader, but I think it is better. Uh, in case they top deck their doom, if they top deck their doom, I would have lost. Would I? So like, I play doom, they play doom. Sixteen here, eighteen there, twelve there. Yeah, so I would have lost if they had a doom. Now, great, I didn't lock in that play. I think before they retreated. So thankfully, we didn't lose. Got a whole cube. Whatever, not much, but hey, a win's a win. Let's go to game number four, I believe. Sure, early Ebony Maw. I can work with that. I'm going to pass this turn and not play Ebony Maw. I probably will not play Armor. I'm still probably going to just play Ebony Maw. Maybe, honestly, in Lechuguila, or however you pronounce that. Cool. That's awkward. I will play Armor Ebony Maw here, I think. I don't know about this, though. I might have just lost out on the opportunity to play Ebony Maw. Maybe I should have just played it. 
and Shocker. Okay, Patriot, maybe Silver Surfer. So, like... Well, first off, we did miss out on our opportunity to play... I really don't want to play Wave Mid. I think I'm going to play Wave on the left. And then Arrow or Odin? I'm not snapping because I'm scared. I'm also kind of giving up on... What? Is that how bad your hand is? Snap. We're snapping. Why are we snapping? Um... I'm a little confused. I'm just gonna play Leech. Could play Leech mid. I'm gonna snap back because I have Leech here. So I'm thinking like Leech... Arrow, Odin? So, like, arrow right, Odin right. So let's play Leech here. Because it doesn't feel like they're going to play into Leche Guila, or however you pronounce that, until, uh, like, turn five turns. Okay, never mind. Carnage. Okay. So hopefully that hit, like, a Patriot or something. Um, and now I'm just going to arrow into Mystique and win the game. And I've already snapped, so G... G opponent. Unless they get like debris, they could still win. Like there is still a chance for them to win, but I don't think they can win here. Apollyes, whatever. Sinisters, no problem. I hope it's no problem. And now I just Odin. And I win right, and I win left. Right? Easy? Easy eight cubes? Not Ultron! Oh, but he's silenced! Would Ultron have even won? <laughs> Woo! Good job, Leech! Actually, Ultron wouldn't have won. Ultron left would have won, but, you know, Era Odin? Pretty good combo, right? <laughs> Leech is pretty good, too. But yeah, that, uh, we won because of Era Odin. Um... Actually, if it weren't for Leech, did I reveal first? I honestly can't reveal if I re I can't remember if I revealed first. It says I revealed first. Um, but yeah, thankfully I won. Good job, Arrow Odin. Let's go to our next game. Game number four, I want to say. Okay, I'll work with this. Early sunspot. Uh, rest of the hand, kind of lame, but I can work with this. Uh, putting sunspot in the vault seems sweet too. Thankfully, though, our hand does suck, but Sunspot makes bad hands, uh, not that bad. Ooh, Washington, D.C. Thank God I have this Sunspot, by the way. Thank God my opponent has nothing to do here. Well, this is kind of awkward. It's kind of really awkward. I'm gonna play armor here, is what I'm thinking. I've got Doom Bot. I can put a Doom Bot in DC on six. I could also just armor on the left. Let's armor mid. If they have Electro, I'm kind of forced to retreat here, though. Zabu, though. Okay. That's an issue. I think I lose. In all honesty, I think I've lost. Because I've drawn really poorly. Well, actually, what if I just arrow... Yeah, yeah. Let's snap. snap. 
arrow into doom or leader seems pretty good here. Unless they play like too many cards. That might be a problem. Uh, that actually, that's... Uh, okay, they didn't play too many cards. Now we have arrow to kind of screw them a bit. Moon girl, Shang-Chi, whatever. And that locks, but now I just play Doom and I win. Doombot into the left, Doombot mid should just win. Yep, EZ game, boys. Also, we had Sandman, didn't even play Sandman. Hey opponent, where were all your four drops? It's not that many four drops there. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, another easy win thanks to Doom. Um, I'm kind of lost track of how many games I've played. I think this is the fourth game and this will be the next game will be the fifth one. Let's get two more games in. So let's get in a couple more. Okay, Ebony Maw is no sunspot, but I'll take him. Well, I can't play into there. Um, hopefully I draw Sunspot here. Quicksilver, is this Jubilee? Add a nine power monster here. Players. Okay, okay. I'm actually gonna snap because of that. So I'm just gonna Ebony Maw mid to lock off mid. Yeah, this is def- So is this a deck I was playing in my last video? I kind of remember a deck like this then. That actually really screws me. Lemuria is such a bad location for us. Like, it's actually really, really bad. I'm actually going to just play Wave here, I think. Because I can play Armor. I guess that's going to be my line. It's Armor on Lemuria. And then I can play... I can still play Doom. Black Widow. Face the might of Asgard. Are we a Darkhawk deck? Are you Zabu? Lockjaw? Um, what are you? Quicksilver Domino. Black Widow Thor? Also, Thor's Bite. Or Thor's Bite. Widow's Bite. Definitely not playing that. Um... I think I'll play Doom into Leader, maybe? Doom into... I have options here. I think Doom is the first start, though. Lady Thor, Jane Foster. Okay, okay. So they definitely have Mjolnir in hand. And Mjolnir is plus six, if I remember correctly. So we're probably losing on Lemuria. Lemuria really screwed me this game, but we're probably losing Lemuria, which is whatever. Here's the problem. Can I win? Like, I'm thinking I just slam Hulk on the left. Maybe arrow on the left. Like it's either I feel like it's either Hulk or arrow on the left. And hope my opponent doesn't play. If I arrow, it's basically saying, I hope you mess up. If they magneto mid. I think I win if they magneto mid. I'm just going to Hulk on the left. Don't think. Just Hulk on left. Oh, and they'll retreat. Woo! <laughs> All right. But yeah, like I had a hard time here thinking about whether I was retreating or not. I don't think I would retreat, though. But the only reason I was even considering Arrow is I was like, if my opponent plays Mjolnir first, Arrow will pull Mjolnir to the left and I win the left. But I, I will respect my opponent and treat them like they have more than two brain cells. Uh, which is why I went for the Hulk and just slammed Hulk on the left. But I was worried about, like, Magneto mid would have pulled in waves. So Magneto mid plus 
Mjolnir somewhere. Would have lost, I think, if I do this line that I just did. Um, but we don't have to worry about it because we won. So let's get uh, let's get one more game in. That was kind of that felt fast. So let's get in one more game before we end this video. Meh. At least I have wave. Oh, I hate negative zone. All right. Uh, maybe arrow into negative zone will do something. So, so far it's looking like turn three wave, turn four hull, turn five arrow. Or electro. Okay, electro instead, I like. Forge. Is this movement? Oh, hey, thanks. Uh, I'm still going to just play electro, though. I could honestly play Sandman here, actually. If I Electro, though, I get to Hulk. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's do it. Let's Electro mid into Hulk left. Rude. Well, okay. <laughs> sure. Yo, thank you so much, Superflow. Let's actually snap at them. I'm not scared at all. I could wave. No, I'll wave. Actually. Let's leech them. No, let's Hulk now. Let's Hulk. Okay. Whatever, Killmonger is... Fine. And now I leech him. Am I gonna leech him? Sunspot, you're a little late. Really wish you were Odin. Just saying. So I could just Sunspot mid. Like, I kind of like that line. But I also just, I think I need to leech. I think it has to be a leech turn. Wolf's Bane, okay. So I should win thanks to Leech, I believe. And GG. Good old Leech into Retreat. You gotta love it. Just wanted to give them a little extra time before I played Leech to try to hit the Silver Surfer or Cerebro or whatever this is. Um, Actually, really not sure what this deck is. I'm guessing it's Silver Surfer. That's a lot of threes. Uh, But yeah, that is is a nice fast game for the last game. Let's go and uh, talk about the deck a little bit more before we end this video. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the deck. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I forgot how many games I played. I feel like it was around five, might have been four, might have been six. Um, I was just having a good time. The games all started like blending in, blending together in my mind. Um, all I remember is we didn't lose a single game. Um, kind of surprised. In all honesty, I was expecting to get at least one, maybe even two losses just due to bad uh, bad draws because this deck can draw poorly. Um, a poor draw for this deck is basically you don't, draw, you don't draw one of your early game units. You don't draw a one drop or a two drop. And then you uh, your ramp doesn't uh, hit hard enough. Or if you get really unlucky, you don't draw your early units and then you don't draw your ramp card, your electro or your wave until turn four. And then you should just retreat in case of that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm very surprised we didn't lose a single game to bad draws. Just means I'm going to get some bad RNG in the future. Uh, but yeah, like I feel like this deck is very powerful. Uh, also, very importantly, this deck, in my opinion, is very easy to play. Um, I'm not trying to do any like crazy shenanigans here. We're not trying to play like a million cards at once, like with Sarah or recently Zabu. Um, I'm not trying to set up lanes for the future, like Destroyers um, or Galactus. So yeah, big fan of the deck. Um, I also like that since it is basically a ramp deck, there are replacements for the top end. Uh, for example, I don't have Magneto, so I'm playing Hulk. I would love Magneto, but I don't have him. Um, I mentioned it earlier, I believe. You don't have Arrow. You can replace Arrow with, say, Claw or Gamora or something. Also, I think I mentioned it in one of my games. In one of my games, I'm probably going to remove Sandman. I'm going to remove Sandman and put in White Queen, put White Queen back in. 
Uh, Sandman just felt like he was honestly most of the time just a dead draw. And even against Zabu, it didn't feel that great. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed the deck. I love this deck. Um, I like the deck for a couple of reasons. One, I just like slamming big stuff. Like big boy after big boy is kind of fun. Um, plays a lot of my favorite cards in the game too. Like Doom, Wave, Sunspot, Arrow. I love those cards. Love Avenue Maw. Just love a lot of the cards in this deck. So I really like playing it. And I don't have to think that hard. I don't have to like be like, okay, I can play this, 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 and this, and this, like a Silver Surfer or some kind of deck. Uh, but I'd love to hear your opinion on this deck. Do you think this deck is good? I think it's a solid uh, low tier one, high tier two deck. Definitely can get you to infinite if you just grind with it. So go and try it out on the ladder. And I'd love to hear your opinion and just like what other kind of top ends you guys would run in the deck. Anyway, though, if you just enjoyed the video in general, of course, I'd love it if you could leave a like or a comment down below. It always helps me and always helps out my channel. And if you guys want to keep up with the Marvel Snap content, you can always go and subscribe to the channel as well. Also, if you want to watch me play some Marvel Snap, you can go and check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash where I stream pretty much every single day. Anyway, though, with that all said and done, thank you all again once more for watching this video. And until I see you guys in the next one, uh... Bye.